Ay, yay, yay, yay. Was the rebel to blame for a restaurant chain submitting to the tyranny of political correctness? You see, folks, a few weeks ago, we took to the streets of Toronto to ask members of Generation Trudeau if the name and logo of the fat bastard burrito company was <laughs> racist. This was based on a nonsensical article in Now Magazine a while back that condemned the chain for its logo, even though the founder of Fat Bastard is Latino himself. Francisco Vidal arrived in Toronto with very little as a refugee from El Salvador in 1991. He went on to build up his burrito company thanks to years and years of hard work. Now, that's my kind of refugee, one who goes from taker to maker. Oh, but what does Vidal know? For here's what Now's writer, F.T. Green, had to say, quote, The logo trades on the worst stereotypes about Mexicans. It features a fat man with a mustache and a gold tooth. He's wearing a poncho and a sombrero. And he's riding a donkey while eating a burrito, which, for the record, is Tex-Mex cuisine as popularized in North America, not Mexican, end quote. Oh, gracious, prepare the torture chamber already. Green's idiotic conclusion is that the name and logo of Fat Bastard is racist, even though Mexicans aren't a race. But alas, the majority of Generation Trudeau kids we interviewed agreed with Green's premise. Check out the following pithy quotes. There was an article in Now Magazine that was saying that the name and logo of this restaurant is racist. What do you think about that? I don't think it's racist. No, it's just... Oh my. I guess, but like... <laughs> you change your mind in two seconds? <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't think it's racist. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty racist because they're, they're pretty much claiming that all uh, Mexican people are fat bastards and they eat bad food, like deep fried and whatnot. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I find it racist, yeah. I don't think it's very racist. I think that Mexicans, like, take pride in that kind of thing. Oh, like being fat bastards? No, just like, they take pride in their breed. Uh, no, you're right. You might, yeah, maybe. No, you changed your opinion on the fly, did you? Yeah, might be a little bit racist. Mexico has one of the highest obesity rates I in the like world. Mexico. I've been there. I love Mexico too, and about forty percent of Mexicans are illegitimate. So, in other words, there are lots of fat bastards in Mexico. I don't. I honestly don't agree with that. Like, what is, what is your point right now? No, no, that's. I'm just reciting but the stats. I like Mexico. Okay, but I think that's kind of ridiculous because I think you're trying to say that I like Mexicans are illegitimate and that Mexicans are fat bastards at this point. I said that about 40% of the Mexican like population. Why would you cite that stat if it's... I didn't collect the stat, I'm just reporting it. Yeah, but why would you like report that stat if it shows no evidence in your reporting? Well, no, it's relevant to the name of the restaurant. So that's what's what's your point in this report? <laughs> So we're asking people if they would... I've been to Mexico. You've been to Mexico? I like Mexico. Did, did you see many fat bastards there, ma'am? That's rude. How is that rude? Fat bastards? That's... Okay, we're done here. See ya. We're done here. I Oops, I crossed the line. Bitch. Did you catch that last gal calling yours truly a bitch? Wow. The young'uns are so triggered these days, eh? Now, for the record, as far as logo design goes, the Mexican on the donkey artwork is a tad busy graphically, in my opinion. But even so, I think it has some real cornball charm to it. It's so likable in a goofy kind of way. But just days after our Generation Trudeau segment aired, Fat Bastard revealed it's going with a new logo, a logo that is equal parts sterile and uncreative, Merely block capital letters spelling out fat bastard. Yep, the question arises, why? A company spokesman has stated that until the now writer asked them about the name in the old logo, fat bastard had received precisely zero complaints from the public. Thus, with the new logo, fat bastard is seeking to fix a problem that simply does not exist. Ah, uh, somewhere in retired mascot land, the Frito Bandito weeps. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Like what you just saw? Then click subscribe below and never miss another Rebel video.